Over the past two years I have tested more than 20 different Bluetooth OBD2 scanners. This video will make you understand different types of Bluetooth OBD scanners and talk about everything you need to consider before you buy one. So whether you will follow one of my five best picks or you decide to choose one on your own, that's fine, but you will at least know what information should you look up first before you purchase the scanner. Now I also have complete OBD2 scanner buyer's guide, so if you are in rush, just go to link description, download this and then you get best choice not only for Bluetooth but for all other scanner types as well. All of them I already tested and from 20 scanners you see here I think I do have review for 18 or 19 separate review just for that scanner on my channel so if you want to know more about particular scanner you can just go find separate review in my channel. And then to save even more time first let's talk about functionality that you will find in each and every one of these scanners so we don't have to talk about the same functionality over and over with each different scanner. All of these scanners will be able to read your engine codes, clear them so you can clear your check engine light as well. All of them can read your engine live data just as text value. Not all can display them in graphs, but reading basic engine parameters, each of the scanners can do it. Every scanner can show you freeze frame data and also your readiness monitors. So this is basic functionality, engine codes, engine data, clear engine codes and clear check engine light and display readiness monitors. Every scanner will have this basic functionality, so I will not talk about it anymore. And then when it comes to operating systems, so Android or iOS, it also doesn't matter. All of this will work for both Android and iOS. If you want to buy VPIC, blue is for Android, black is for iOS. Now when it comes to Bluetooth adapters, we know three different types. First, you already know this for sure, ELM327 adapters, very popular cheap OBD scanners and there are literally hundreds of OBD2 apps you can use with these adapters to gain different functionality. So not only diagnosing the engine, but also track performance data, location, or even unlock hidden vehicle features. So first type ELM327, then we have, I don't know if I should even call it a type because this is only one I have and this is something, it looks like engine code reader, however it is Bluetooth version of very popular engine code reader and not only you can use all code reader features, you can also connect it to Ansel app which gives you pretty much same functionality as generic apps for these ELM adapters. And then next type and most advanced ones is J2534 adapter. Even though you use these adapters by Bluetooth with your smartphone, with this adapter your smartphone will basically become a professional scan tool. You just don't use tablet but you will use your smartphone which can bring down costs. These adapters will allow you to access all modules, read data in all modules, they are all bi-directional so you can do component activation, you can test different components in car just with your smartphone. Basically everything you can do with professional scan tool you can do with this. And that is how you should consider which type do you need. ELM327 are good for basic engine diagnostics, tracking your engine data so you can plug one of these in your car and then it will save data about your drives, location, you can log different engine parameters throughout your drive. You can use them to track your fuel consumption. You can even make amazing looking videos with you driving the car where you put overlay of your engine data which you lock with one of these adapters. Then also there are apps that will give you some of that professional functionality even with ELM adapter and that can be full scan of all modules but only for fault codes. You will not be able to read data in all modules using one of these but with some apps you can scan all modules for faults so you can also scan your ABS module, transmission, radio, all modules in your car. If you have right app, you can scan all modules and then you can also do some ECU coding. So for some models, you will be able to unlock hidden settings of your car. For example, opening windows from your key fob or disable annoying features like seatbelt warning. But just remember that for most advanced features like ECU coding or full scan, you will probably have to buy an paid app and usually they charge by month. So you can just do it as one time purchase. At least for ECU coding. I, for ECU coding with ELM, I use Carista app. They also make adapters but you don't have to use them. You can use any LM adapter with their app and then do some customizations for your vehicle and also full scan of all modules. But there are also some scanners like this Xtool Advancer which I just now realized I forgot to put with others. 
which can do full scan of all modules and is also very good to track your fuel consumption data. This X-Tool Advancer is ideal not for someone who wants to diagnose his car problems, but for an average car owner that just wants to have a little bit more data about car. Okay, so ELM you can use for basic engine diagnostics, maybe unlock some hidden features and with some apps you can also do full scan of all modules. If you are also DIY mechanic, you want to fix your car yourself or if you want to do used car inspections, then you will have to get one of these. These J2534 adapters will give you a lot more functionality and if you want to service your car, especially if you have modern car, new cars will require having OBD scanner like this to do even basic service tasks. For example, changing the battery is not as easy like with old car you just swap the battery. With new car, you need to also do battery registration service procedure, so your battery will actually last 3-4 years instead of one. If you skip doing this battery registration, in modern car you probably have intelligent battery managing system and it will be counting with strength of old battery instead of new and then your new battery will not last very long. Same goes for oil reset. For some newer cars you can reset your oil interval only using scan tool and then there is bunch of service procedures like force DPF regeneration. If you have electronic brake calipers you will not be able to change rear brake pads without one of these tools. In professional scan tool you have 30 and more of these service procedures and in these Bluetooth adapters the standard is like 8 to 10 service procedures but it's enough because you will get the most important ones like DPF, DPMS, airbag, battery, oil interval, most common service functions. And then for used car inspection as well the ELM is not enough because you need to check every system of vehicle not only for faults but by checking all systems you are also able to detect real mileage because modern car will store mileage data in different control modules and then if you have access to all control modules live data you are able to find these mileage records. I also do used car inspection as side hustle and a lot of the times I was able to detect road back odometers with using one of these. If I used ELM I would not find it. And then with one of these you can also create very professional looking diagnostic reports and send it to email or print it out. These J2534 scanners are often made by professional scan tool manufacturers like this Thinkdiac and Mukar they are from Thinkcar. They also make professional tablet scan tools so you are getting very professional software which means getting access to data libraries. You will get fault code repair guides. Some will also give you access to TSB libraries and bunch of other useful data. And then they are also bi-directional. So what you can do with this advanced adapter in every control module you will get a bunch of test components. So just with my smartphone I can turn on headlights, door lock, windshield wipers or if I go to another module, for example engine module, I will get completely different list of tests I can do to verify my relays, engine cooling fan, fuel injectors. There are literally hundreds of components in your car you can test with bidirectional adapter like this. Ok, now you understand difference between J2534 and ELM327 adapter, but before I show you my 5 best picks, we need to consider two things. First is subscription or update cost. You can find that you have to pay for a subscription, whether it is ELM adapter with some more advanced app or one of these J2534 scanners with their own software. With ELM adapters it is simpler, you can just buy any ELM adapter and you are always able to find some free apps you can use them with. But most often it is these adapters that can be used only with their own software and most of the time you will have to pay every year so you are able to use it. But don't worry, not even these professional ones are all subscription based. Some of these you can buy one time and then you will get free lifetime updates without having to pay for any subscription so you just buy adapter. And then second thing to consider is if your adapter can use third party software. So ELM adapters, they all can use different ELM OBD2 apps you will find in your Google or Apple App Store. And then the more expensive adapters, like this OBD Link, not only you can use it with different apps, they will also give you their own software if you buy it. So you will get OBD Link for your smartphone, you will also get OBDV's laptop software because this you can also use for your laptop, not only your smartphone. And then you can also use all of the best OBD apps that you can use with any ELM adapters. By the way, I also have video best ELM apps, so I will put it up here.
And then with J2534 adapters, most of the time they will work only with their software, except this Ansel Eco, which actually does have own software, but also works with all these ELM apps as well. And then important thing is if the adapter like this will require having subscription, once the subscription is over, if you decide not to pay, you can still use them, but you will get only basic functionality. So if you buy adapter like this, if it has subscription, the first year is usually included in device. And then after second year, you can either pay for another year or you decide not to pay and then you can still use it, but only with basic functionality like the ELM adapters have. Okay, and now let's check out my five top picks. At number 5 we have OBD Link MX Plus, I call it king of ELM adapters, definitely of the ELM adapters I have tested, it is fastest. You can use it for all ELM apps, but they also will give you their own dedicated app for smartphone and then also their own software for your laptop. And if you plan on using advanced functionality of ELM, for example, unlocking hidden features or tracking your performance data, you need a speed and secure adapter. Because if you do issue coding with slow adapter, you can risk breaking your control modules. And then if you do performance data logging, if you want to do video like I showed before, it will not look very good with slow adapter. Now I know that OBD link is not the cheapest. By the way, all of my best picks will be linked in the description so you can check the current price because it is changing. So I'm not going to say exact price, but I know if you compare it with other ELM, it can seem expensive. And if you want ELM, but it's more than you want to spend, then I would consider VLinker MS. It is also better than most ELM adapters. Also very fast, although not as fast as OBD Link, but still fast enough for ECU coding, enough for performance data tracking, and it is about half the price. Also will be linked in description. At number four, we have Top Scan Lite. This scanner has very good vehicle coverage. I was able to work even with old cars like my old Renault Kango or Punto. It scans all modules, it is bi-directional, and it is best to check used vehicles. Topscan is enough to diagnose your problems in any system. You can use service procedures, so DPF first regeneration, electronic brake calipers unlock, oil interval reset, all these service procedures I talked about before. You got eight of them with Topscan Lite, and then it is amazing for checking used vehicles because not only you can access full life data and find that mileage records. It also generates best looking diagnostic reports of all of these scanners. You can even add your custom images to the report. But it does not have ECU coding, so no unlocking hidden features. And it comes with subscription of 50 or 60 dollars per year. I'm not sure now. So when you buy this, first year is free. And then from second year, you will have to pay 50 or 60 dollars per year. At number three, as budget pick, we have iCare Pro. Cheapest option on this list. Although still very good. Even though it is cheap, it's not that slow. They work for both iOS and Android. I just received this new version. I haven't had time to test it yet, but I tested old version. It worked fine, it doesn't disconnect, and I was able to work with all of my ELM apps. But I guess new should be better, so get this one. At number two, we have Xtool A30, which I believe is the best value for money for average DIY mechanic, simply because you got all this J2534 functionality, like bidirectional testing, accessing all control modules, reading full life data, so you can also use it for used car check. It has service procedures, eight of them, same like Top scan light. However, there are three versions of this adapter. So this is the cheapest. It has eight service procedures, but then you got middle one has like 13, I think, and then most expensive have 21 of these service procedures. And best part of this scanner is that it comes with three lifetime updates. You just buy the adapter and that's it. Not only you can use it forever, you will also get a free updates. So whenever they make new software for this, you will also get updated version, even though you pay only once when you buy this. <laughs> Check it out. It even has built-in flashlight. At number one, we have ThinkDiac 2, my favorite Bluetooth scanner, which I am using for more than two years. And let me tell you that this scanner can do everything. Also Mukar, they are from same company and they use very similar software. Now ThinkDiac 2 can do it all. It has the best vehicle coverage. Sometimes when I tried working with vehicles, even where some of these adapters have failed, I always carry this in my car. And in two years of using, I never found car that this ThinkDiac wasn't able to work with and scan all modules. Even old cars, I even scanned the car with OBD1 system, which has OBD2 connection. Then it has full functionality of professional scan tool, 
So whether it's service procedures, both have 15 service procedures. Both can access all modules, read live data in all modules, make diagnostic reports. So also good for used car inspections. Both are also bidirectional. And then ThinkDiac2 will also give you access to ECU coding. You can unlock hidden features, disable features you don't want. This thing they have to basically can do all of functionality of these 21 other scanners combined. But one thing to consider is that it's not that cheap and it also does have most expensive subscription. Subscription on this is $95 currently, almost $100 per year. However, you can get basically same software by buying Mooker adapter. It is half of ThinkDiac price and then subscription is also half $50 per year, but it cannot do ECU coding. Other than ECU coding, both of them seems to be the same. Now for me, paying this subscription was definitely worth. I used this countless of times, whether it was checking used vehicles, helping my friends with service procedures like DPF regeneration, battery registration, oil interval reset. I used it to diagnose different car problems.